Hey guys, Brent here from BrentMailPhotography.com and in this lesson I'm going to show you a quick two minute edit for a portrait shot outdoors. So how do I go from this to this in two minutes? Let's have a look. That's the original, that's the finished image. Stick around and watch. Okay, so let's jump right into it. Alright, so this is an image of a family I shot on the beach in the bright sunlight. Just a beautiful image, but You'll notice we've got really dark shadows. The image is a little bit underexposed. If I look at the histogram, it's a little bit dark than it should be. And um, I don't think I've got the best parts in this image. So I'm going to crop it a little bit. So let's jump right in. Okay, so how do I edit this image in two minutes or less and make it look stunning? All right, so the first thing I do is the crop tool. So let's jump into the crop tool over here. Now, as I drag the edges of the crop tool, you'll notice that you've got these points of interest where the lines intersect it's basically the rule of thirds so let's make sure that that goes onto the kids heads um, there we go I'll move things around a little bit and I don't want to cut off their feet and hands so that's about it I think that's a good spot I might move it up a little bit there so that's a great area to crop the image so just making sure that they I'm going in a little closer and I can see the points of interest which are the kitties heads or their bodies so the next thing I do is level so image adjustment uh, levels and you'll notice this image is a little bit underexposed because there's a gap at the top over here so what I do is I just drag the highlight slider down to where we've got some information now there is a shortcut to this if kids are wearing white you can click on the little white eyedropper the highlight eyedropper and you can click on their clothing like that and that gives you a great way to make sure the image is properly exposed so let's go back to that. Control L is levels. I'll just drag that down just in case you're editing an image that doesn't have white clothing. All right, there we go. So already it's looking a lot better. Let's have a look. We go from crop to levels. Okay, so we just leveled it out. The exposure is right. Now what I use is curves. So we go to image, adjustment, curves, or Control M is the curves layer and what I do is I up the highlight or the midtone sorry I up the midtones in the image now yes the image is going to look totally overexposed right now but there's a little trick I use over here so we go back in time we go back in the history panel so on your panels over here you got layers you got channels you got actions you got history so we can go back to the history channel and we can go back one level so one layer so we on levels so I did levels before and then I did curves so Let's go back to levels where everything's properly exposed. Now the trick here is to make sure you click the uh, the set the source for the history brush to the curves action that we actually took, which is in the future. So history is normally in the past, but this is in the future. Okay, so we grab the history brush over here. It's a little brush with the uh, with the arrow on it. And now as I brush in. I'm going to brush into the future, which is the curves area. So let's just make sure we've got the right thing. So we've got normal mode on, on the history brush. We've got 50% opacity, 100% flow. And as I brush in, I'm going to brush in the curves that I did earlier in the future. So I'm just going to brush in the, the darker areas of these kiddos. So let's just go to the faces because that's what we, we really want to, to jump out of these images. There we go. So it's as if you've got a, a reflector in on the beach reflecting light back into the kitties faces so there we go already it's looking good so let's have a look at how we started with after we cropped it there's the crop and now we've applied levels and curves and we've only applied curves in certain areas of this image now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to darken the outside of this image a little bit the background just to make sure that these kids jump out uh, of the image and they really pop so I'm going to use the burn tool so that's the dodge and burn. I'm going to use the burn tool. That's the one that darkens things. I always forget that. <laughs> I'm going to make sure it's on midtones, about 35%. And what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to make the brush big. So I'm going to go right square brackets or left square brackets. That's how you make it big and small. And I'm going to brush in the outside over here. So I'm just darkening the edges around the kitties. And what that does is it makes sure that the subjects really step out of the background. They really pop. And we can make the sky a little bit darker here. Now, if you do make a mistake, hit Control Z or Control Z, uh, and that goes back one step. And you'll notice 
on here as I as I brush in on the history tool as I brush in over here and maybe I made it too dark over there okay it's too dark all right let's let it catch up here all right if I hit control Z it goes back a step all right so that's it guys uh, there there it is I went from this to this what a difference what do you guys think please leave comments below this is Brent have an awesome day